and a Capital One World Series report. I have five questions for Cliff Floyd and Dan Plezak. Do your best to give me your initial answer, and <laughs> let's, let's hit you with these right away. Here we go. Cliff, World Series favorite batter-pitcher matchup that you're looking forward to seeing? I'm going to Ebaldi and Corbin Carroll. Ooh. Because I just think that, you know, we just talked about Carroll and what he brings and the dynamic. You know, Nathan has been pitching outstanding. You have to keep him off the bases if you want to win a ball game. I just think we saw in game seven in the Phillies with Carroll, he can put his handprint on and single-handedly win them, you know, win that team a ball game. Nathan Navalde has been spectacular. So that that little, you it's know, a good one. It's a good cat one. mouse will be. What do you got, Dan? Yeah, I'm going to go Seawald against Seager. Because I think eventually they're going to match up a couple of times because the Diamondbacks aren't going to lay down. I think Seawald is going to pitch in at least four of so these good. seven games, and eventually he's going to get a look at Seager. All right. The Rangers are a little bit more of a home run hitting team than the Diamondbacks, but there's some guys with some pop on the Arizona side too. Yeah. Who hits the farthest home run, the longest homer in this world? So I was series? going, Gar I was going all over the place. I'm going with Corey Seager. I just think you know, I saw the homer uh, in, in Houston when he went second tank in the first inning. I'm going, whoa, he got pop. If he gets like level, they, they, they're trying to elevate the fastball on him. If he can get up there and get level with it, he can hit the ball a long way. So I'm going with him. I think that time off is going to do Christian Walker a, a ton. He needs a reset. Oh, because I thought in the series against the Phillies, he was kind of in a bad place. He was caught in between, laid on a heater, or ahead on the on the break and stuff. He needs a reset, and I think he's going to run into one in this World Series, you and it's going to be near five bills. He's going to hit one about 500 feet. That's a good call. That's yeah, a good call. Yeah, because I'm going somewhere with this one. In the Career homer yeah. uh, RBI year for Christian Walker. Okay, who? Uh, it's way too early for this kind of speculation, but give me your early chalk for series MVP. <laughs> I'm going with Marcus Simeon. Okay. I, it, same with Christian Walker. Like, you, you see a guy 26 and 100 on the season, hasn't hit a homer this whole postseason, hitting under 200. It's time for him to reset. It's time for him to get his him, his legs under him and sort of get to that point where he, he squares up a baseball and it comes off the bat and he goes, okay, here we go, boys. You know, I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I, I thought Game 7, Corbin Carroll. I mean, he he had his fingerprints all over they Game did. 7. They needed him to come up big. Three really good at bats off of tough lefties and Alvarado and Suarez. We know he can run. He's a good defender. I think he's my guy. Okay. Uh, let's give you a light one. Let's lighten it up a little bit. Non-baseball stuff. Give me a celebrity <laughs> that you would like to see throw out a ceremonial first pitch. Man, I was going all over the place. I didn't know. I was thinking Troy Aikman. I went with Emma Smith. Oh, that's a good I, one. I just feel like, and, you know, in, in Dallas, I mean, obviously he's a legend. Uh, you know what? I mean, I was thinking Prince Field, and I was like, you know, I'm going with Emmett. I feel like Emmett will bring that, that house down. Uh, in Arlington. I think game three back in Arizona. Uh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be it's going to be loud in there. Matt, I'm going to tee you up. Chris Russo, the mad dog. He needs, to, <laughs> he needs to throw up the first pitch in Arizona. Especially after threatening to quit. Yes. The Diamondbacks beat the yes. Phillies. And then he walked it back and said, I'll just take a yeah. day off. I'll take yeah. a day off. <laughs> I love it. Duh. I'd love to see Doggy throw out the first pitch. Whoa, good yeah. one there, dog. See, you're, you, the uh. two choices you guys made made a lot of sense. My guy, I'm going to jump in on this, too. I can't figure out how to make this work because there's no connection to Cincinnati. But how about former Mayor Mark Mallory? <laughs> who's still, this is still legendary. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what? Hey, man, I wasn't tripping until ED goes, what the? <laughs> 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 yeah, there it is. He's <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> they got to get him out there. Just one thing. That's all we do. All right, last oh. one. Last question then. And back oh. to the serious one. <laughs> <laughs> Who is on the mound? I'll start with this with you, Dan. Who's on the mound for the final out? Because we'll get your winner and your oh. your your pitching hero. Paul Seawald. I'm buying. I, I thought the acquisition, he has settled down the back end of that bullpen. They did the improbable, winning his game six and seven. I think right now they have taken on that role of being the underdog team. But I don't know how much of an underdog. They took down a really good Phillies team. Seawald gets the last out. Cliff, what will Leclerc? I just feel like Texas. Texas. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like he's a guy that's, you know, he wants the ball. I mean, he, you know, he looks the part. 
Uh, the stuff plays. He, you know, he, he, he doesn't lose his poise on the mound. And after every big save, that's what you get right there. He wants it. He, want, he wants everything about getting that last. Love that you guys are on other sides of who's going <laughs> to win. Uh, game one is coming up on Fox on Friday night just after 8 o'clock. To get you in the spirit of game ones, we thought we'd relive some of the most memorable game ones in World Series history. Give us a little yeah. look at some of these images, oh, and we're going to walk through some of these game one moments no doubt you'll remember so many of them. We're going to go chronologically here. So let's start with the 1954 mm. World Series. Giants and Indians, game tied at two, runners on. It's no way it makes this catch. So it's Willie like Mays no catch. way. Right? It's all about the jump. And then look, what he, he, he catches it, turns, throws, and it's like, yo. And that's there why we is. all that's remember the name Vic Wirtz. And then Dusty Rhodes would win it with a three-run homer. Look at I mean, that. it was two four. What is that? Two, <laughs> two ten. <laughs> I mean, that's about as good a game one moment as there is. Willie Mays and that indelible image in our minds, robbing Vic Wirtz that, in game man. one in '54. Let's move on to more contemporary times. Oh, how could we forget oh. this? Dennis Eckersley right. and the A's runner on. Mike Davis just drew a walk. And Kurt Gibson oh. hobbling to the plate, looking terrible until that swing. Backdoor slider, right? The advance slider. report said that he likes to go at three balls and two strikes, and he was sitting on it looking for it and to hit it. I mean, hit there's it. one thing to know that it's you right. got a good idea, but you have to hit it, and he hit it. He Dodgers hit it. would win the Back. series as heavy underdogs yeah. in five games. And let's go seven years into the future of that one. Braves Brown and dogs. Indians. Bottom of the second, Fred McGriff against Oral Hershiser. Solo shot to tie the game at one. And the Crime Dog and the Mad Dog were both a part of this. Carlos Baerga in the ninth pops out. Maddox went the distance on a two hitter. That's what he does. Man. Right, he did it a lot. And it was all brave oh, my bad up. that year. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's I go to the 2000 series, the Subway series. Mets and Yankees, bottom of the 12th in game one. Bases loaded, Turk Wendell Turk. against Jose Vizcaino. Goggles Paisano, we used to call him in San Diego. What a nice piece. Slaps it the other Jose. way. Yankees win it in extra innings, well, setting so up hero. that World Series. Right. So much fun. Part of that core four run of consecutive triumphs. How about more contemporary still? 2015 Mets and Royals. Is that Chris That's Young? Chris that Young. is Chris Young, who came on in relief in a 4-4 game. He went three scoreless innings, struck out four with that stealth heater. It set up the bottom of the 14. Big Hawks. loaded. You remember this, Cliff? Mm. Sack fly that brought in Alcides Escobar. It's Grandy Man out there, wasn't it? And the Royals would win at five for so many images from this game one. How about Alex Gordon hitting the game tying that homer? That was huge, man. I mean, he'll never hit, why right? he never hit a bigger homer than that one. And of course, the two teams that both lost game sevens in this year's League Championship Series matched up in last year's World Series. Game one, Jeremy Pena robbed what on a great catch. catch by Nick Castellanos. I thought it was no chance he was ever catching that ball, but he got a great jump on it. And then JT Real Muto would strike the big blow in the 10th. Phillies win it by a final of six to five. Yes, the Phillies won game one. That's the indelible image, but the Astros would hoist the commissioner's trophy.